And sometimes, even meetings can speak volumes. Like President Uhuru has learned the secret of the power of silence. Yani watu anangangana na Uhuru anabeba nini kwa kichwa yake, hawajui. So we celebrate him. We celebrate him because all we are saying right now, everybody, including the President Uhuru, is concerned about this matter of IBC. So William Ruto should come out of the slumber and do something. The country is waiting for him. You know, they, they tell their, their, their proxies, because the, fellow, the fellows who have gone to court are the proxies of order. Tell your proxies to withdraw the case. Name within the next one week the panel, and then the next uh, few months we should have in place an IBC. Amengine ya poroja atime naenda kukutana na Ruto usiku. Yosi mutu waina hiyo. Ikitaka kuona Ruto intasema kwa Kenya, I'm going to meet him. Ni muambie, organize IBC. And I'm not saying I'm meeting him. Yeah, I'm not meeting on IBC. It is his responsibility to do it. But they organized as a judge in Kiambu who had to give injunction, an injunction, an order to make sure that the names are not submitted to him. As simple as that. And my brother Weta knows he's part of that conspiracy. He's a very good friend of mine. He should jump out of that conspiracy. Wapia na ya majina. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. People of all types of speculation. <laughs> yeah. Some others saying, I've been going to state out as midnight. Awa shindo sana. Awa ni waongo a jab. Eh. For us, we are very clear on the way forward. In fact, we propose to issue uh, a statement, pre Jamhuri. Uh, pre Jamhuri statement. I know that some people in the media have been saying, oh, we are issuing statement there, but we will do a mixture. We will talk when it is necessary to be able to put these people on their toes. Because they are obviously a lying regime. And they have been found out. We are calling them out. Just in the, in the matter of IEBC, we've been very clear, right, that uh, when Azimio was given 48 hours to forward the name of the candidate to be in the panel that to constitute the IEBC, we had to adhere to the, the strict, stri strict um, timeline by the, the court. And we gave the name of Dr. Kokimoli. I think she'll be issuing a statement. But there are people who are afraid of our abilities. They want to get user-friendly candidates. All right? So she had herself won the case. And so this is a matter where the state itself has gone to appeal. They went to court to appeal in uh, Kiambu court. We have said this before. And then uh, after that appeal, they are not even prepared to prosecute the appeal, meaning they are not even interested. Speaker Wetangula had one week after Azumio complied with that directive of the court to forward the names to President William Ruto. But they gerrymandered in order to allow the fellows they have given the mandate to, to, to delay the whole process to move to court. So I, I was amazed. I don't know whether there's a judge who talked about this, and it's unfortunate that he didn't seem to have the facts. So this is the fact. State capture continues, even of the judiciary. The fact they are not even able to move this uh, process forward. So we are calling them out that this is a William Ruto strategy to make sure that there is no IABC, and therefore continue even the matter, very important matter of the. A independent electoral boundary, the electoral boundaries. You see, there was a time limit within which uh, we should now come up with a review of the boundaries. Under NADICO, we had proposed, I think, 15 years. And if they had taken the time to marshal the whole parliament, they like they marshaled when they were impeaching Gachagua, right? They marshaled more than two thirds. They should have marshaled.